Hello and welcome to a brand new series. Hopefully, series. I mean, I mean, it's gonna be a series. It just depends on how long it's going. Ah, uh, but hello. This is uh, a gyro monk plays uh, gyro log. I don't know. I don't know if we're gonna call it that yet. But Scourge Bringer is the name of the game, and <clears throat> we're gonna do. Let's see. Replay introduction. Let's start that. Let's do that once. Um, but yeah, here we go. Let's do it. This is a roguelike roguelite game, but here's the intro. Let's just go through it. <laughs> we don't know where it came from and why it started to spread the scourge across our lands. I love the pixel art. The countless deaths it brought is our new reality. People are kind of comparing it to like Dead Cells and Celeste. I think if you know roguelites, it's more like Flint Hook mixed with Celeste. Um, we ventured in it hoping to find answers. No one has ever returned from its depths. Let's get the mouse cursor out of the way. I thought that was part of the art. Kyra, go forth, my child. You are the strongest of our clans. Our last light. Is that a... Destiny reference? That's a Metroid missile on the top left for sure. May you accomplish the impossible task of repelling this ordeal. Okay, we're repelling the... this beam? The Scourge Bringer awaits. Okay, so we're not the Scourge Bringer. It's the beam of love. You know what? Story, lol. <laughs> Who cares about those? Okay, so we're with this little little girl with the poofy hair. I like it. Hostile environment detected. Enabling anti-threat protocols. Proceed with caution. Okay, is he our little helper? Huh. Maybe... This is Destiny. Oh, there's wall riding. <laughs> you know what? Uh, and I guess this is our map right here. I have played just a tiny bit of this just to get used to the controls. Um, by the way, I changed the controls around. I don't know if it's going to help me. Um, I'm playing with a 8-bit Doe controller uh, because it's a platformer. I feel like that's a good, the best one uh, that I own. But I did put it in PlayStation because I know that style the best. Uh, I switched all this. I, the music is super loud in this game. Um, I swapped because I've played Flint Hook. I swapped jump to L1. That might not be like a bumper jumper type thing. It, it might not be your thing, but I love it. Um, block movement. I don't know what that's for, um, but we might have use for it later on. Um, but let's get back to the controls, the tutorial to get you caught up. All right. So L1's jump and you can do a with these platforms you can do a you know a down jump to get through if you're familiar with platformers it's pretty similar to that i don't know what these bells are for but it's it's very entertaining to hit them interacting with the environment's always fun lockdown and progr progress Unknown threat spotted, suggesting dispatch using force to lift the lockdown. Okay. Oh, here's the other thing that I changed. Sorry if I'm breaking the action. Um, hold to auto slash is on, so I can just hold down the square button to auto slash. It's really fun. Um, game speed, apparently that's an accessibility thing. That's pretty nice. Uh, but yeah, I, don't, I just didn't feel like mashing the square button wasn't re it wasn't really that uh, that useful for me, you know. It, it wasn't adding any tactile thing. I don't know if that makes the game easier. Uh, you can judge for yourself, I guess. The, the game seems like it's more about your maneuverability. Uh, that compar comparison with Flint Hook is is uh, is absolutely there. Um, but it's flint hook without the stupid hooks that you that have to be there for you to hook you, You'll see you'll see this this is where it becomes more like flint hook this r1 button is you could just dash It has a cooldown of like a half second so you can't just keep hitting it 
but it's very uh, it's very useful for navigating. You could pretty much just float around. You can get damaged. What he just said was you can take damage while you're dashing. So it's not like an enter the gungeon dash. It's not a dodge. It's a dash. Just because you can dash doesn't mean you can... What's the joke there? Just because you can dash a wrench doesn't mean you can dodge a ball. I don't know. That's a dodgeball reference. You got Ben still. Yeah, it's a good movie. If you haven't seen it. Uh, weakness analyzed. A heavy smash attack will be effective. Okay, so we're waiting for the exclamation point, and then BAM! Exclamation point, BAM! <laughs> <coughs> Having too much fun. <laughs> Enabling long range armament. Last 32 units can fire bullets with energy. Okay. There is also a gun component with this game. And since the enemies are also long range, they give you guys, uh, you know, and by you guys, I mean all of us, a fair, <laughs> hold on, I'm trying to dash to him and smash him before we can unleash our gunnage. There we go. We're good. <laughs> that was a little sloppy. These rooms... If you're familiar with, uh, what's a good comparison? Like, in between every level in Mana Spark, it's just basically like a power-up room. Um, it didn't give us one there, which is kind of confusing because this is the tutorial. But you'll, you'll see that later on when we actually get to some real games. Ooh-ah! Ooh-ah! Got him. All right, where are we going? Oh! Ooh, quantum distortions detected. Analyzing. Identification of a portal to an unknown place. Possible exit. Enabling mapping sensors. I don't know why I started doing like a Sean Connery robot impression. Um, the Entangled Ingress. Okay, so this is the real game. Let's go. So basically every single room will give you two waves of enemies. As you can see, it's really easy to just get distracted and get hit. You don't want to get hit. As in most games, you, you know, <laughs> losing HP bad, staying alive good. The game is a tiny bit loud. It, and, and you saw my volume levels like, okay, this is definitely a Destiny reference. Look at that. <laughs> don't be don't <laughs> leave me and my son stay stay away from me and my son that's that's the meme right there with our little ghost guys that is totally a destiny ghost that's a okay i'm just gonna leave that be um this is where we spend our blood if you look at the bottom right there uh there's a blood currency and you could spend it here with um with gun upgrades, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. I do want to get that shotgun. I want to try that out. Okay. Here is our first upgrade. Let's see what happens. Uh reloading energy slowly, recharges automatically while Ooh. Okay, that's that's uh <laughs> I said ooh, but I meant to say was ew. Um I, I don't use the gun that much anyway. Uh, reveals greed pos Greed's position on the map. That's the store. 5% um, shop discount per missing HP. Mm, I think that's the one we want. Yeah. So look at that. It went from 190 to 181. What do you have to tell us? Got some rare things on sale, fated. He introduced uh, himself to us on the first try. Um when I went to try out the game first, but he, yeah, he's greed and he's kind of creepy But apparently he's just trying to find his way just like the rest of us And that's you know, that's that's a relatable thing Everyone's trying to find their way. Nobody knows what they're doing exactly and Some people might have like an easier time navigating through life, but who wants that? <laughs> Someone's like, yo, I, I can't even pay my bills. What are you talking about? Look. 
challenges they you know they come across and how you deal with them is how you grow as a person <clears throat> Although I guess, you know, more challenges in your life doesn't make you a more interesting person. Not necessarily. It might make you more jaded. Yo, we tried to dash! See? Perfect scenario. Oh, 5% increased damage. Nice. Is there like a statistics screen? Oh, there it is. Uh, we lost a lot of HP, so we might be able to purchase that shotgun soon. <laughs> totally on purpose. <laughs> dun, ga, dun, dun. No joke. I had dreams uh, last night about being in a band that sounded like this. Uh, this music. Um, specifically, it was the uh, the Chariot. If you've ever heard of them, um, <laughs> it's such an interesting thing because I I definitely don't listen to that type of music now. Uh, that's like a teenage angst type thing. I can appreciate it. Still, to this point. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, so this is good. This is a learning thing. It's a roguelite. If you've ever seen one of these, here you are. Um, the, the difference, I'm going to teach you a little bit about rogues. Roguelite and roguelike. They are very similar. Roguelikes, specifically, if you ask anyone on Reddit, <laughs> it means that the game is less fun. Um, <laughs> that's not fair. Roguelikes do not have a meta progression whatsoever. Um, and a lot of times they're turn based, a lot of times they're, you know, yada yada yada. And someone in the, someone in the comments probably will be correcting me uh, pretty shortly. So. Uh, roguelites do have a meta progression and uh, are more fit for the casual crowd I guess you could say this guy his name is a uh, Garo but he he kind of stumbled on his introduction it's like he's not even sure if that's his name um, I'm not sure if we can trust him because he's not even the one that gives us the upgrades it's the shrine here if we look in the left I have purchased two upgrades one was uh, permanent max HP, and the other one is allowing fast travel to visited room. If you're uh, familiar with Enter the Gungeon, that is a, that's a function that is very useful. And just for saving time in general. <clears throat> Had to take a sip of water. Creates a wave attack upon landing on the ground from a dash. Ooh, ground pound. Um, but I'm more interested in this, to be honest. Builds a combo meter based on your speed and attack variety. So basically they're telling you have more fun and you'll be you'll be better. I Yes, that's that's what I want. That's what I want from a game. <laughs> they're basically making it like a like a like style points, you know? Um back when I used to play Tony Hawk a lot, uh there, like Tony Hawk Pro Skater 3, there was a, a lot of emphasis on getting 100 million points or like 250 million points on Rio or whatever map you uh, you want to you want to go to you know you want to call out. I was uh, I bear oh side boss. Also, here's a little learning thing. Oh. Well, don't get hit by that. But basically, I was gonna show that uh, you can heavy attack. Oh, those spikes, dude! I was about to ask where our shotgun went, but I think that died when we died. <clears throat> okay, we got back one HP. Uh, if you didn't notice in the last uh, the last combo I hit there. Uh, I used my gun as well, so I held down square. I was doing this, and I was also pushing down the right trigger. That is uh, it's a pro tip. Pro tip. <laughs> a am I in uh, any position to give out pro tips right now? Probably, probably not. 
but you know it's just things that i'm learning along the way i'll, I'll share with y'all um for each enemy that kill, gets killed while not touching the ground um 10 more sword damage i can easily do that probably i, I don't like touching the ground anyways um gives back all hp nope um yeah yeah the floor is lava it is <laughs> that sounds like the most fun yo the boss fight's already ready I, I don't think we are though if i'm gonna be perfectly honest but yeah what was i gonna say tony hawk pro skater 3 like everybody was all about maxing out points um but right around when uh tony hawk underground came out uh, you know people pretty much got bored of of the the point meta you know, it, it, there was there was something to be said about uh, viewability. Wow, that was lucky. Let's crit this guy. All right, get out of here, turtle. Um, but yeah, there was something to be said about the viewability. No, I didn't mean to buy that. What did I even buy? What is this? Efficient burst weapon. I just want to get the gun. To be honest. Because I don't like, well, okay, it's not fair that I, I, not fair to say that I don't like this gun, it's just the regular pistol. You know, who, who would say yes to a regular pistol when they can have like a, a P90? Not P90X. Forget that noise. No, 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 no. Okay, we're fine. We didn't get hit. No. I think we're getting used to this game. And this is when we go down to 1 HP. <laughs> no, 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 oh, no, no, no. Okay, we're good. But yeah, uh, something to be said about viewability of the game. When uh, when everybody's done scoring and then they're, they're, everybody's watching one person do their thing. Um, I don't know who popularized it, but at one point, it, the game became more about style and how you uh, how creative you were to use the sticker slaps the reverts all of all of the things in your arsenal to create a good show and uh, it, it was really impressive what people what we're doing it felt like an actual like I don't know it, it felt like a show <laughs> and uh, that, that that's basically where I feel like this combo thing might go um, if I ever get good at this game <laughs> I am really enjoying it like I'm not just playing this up because I'm a you uh, youtuber in the uh, in the lightest sense <laughs> a part-time YouTuber, I, I, would you even call me that? I mean, I guess I put out more content than most people with full-time jobs. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Bo -bo 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 -bo. Oh, kill them before they kill you. Yeet or ye be yeeted. <sighs> We're good. Okay, we got to go to greed. Is there something you can give me for health? Increases max HP. Uh, all right. Goodbye, assault rifle. We need this. Can we walk out of this with an HP upgrade? No, 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 no. no. He was he was rearing up for a shot there. Okay, let's try this boss fight with with nothing basically. To our to our name, four HP. Let's go. All right, body bold body boulder. I think the, cl the closest band I used to listen, I need to hit those exclamation points, would probably be like, uh, ooh, that was a fast death. Oh my goodness. The the closest band that I would have listened to that sounded like this is probably like uh, Haste the Day or like Oh Sleeper, something like that. But let's unlock this combo, dude. Okay, so what do we do again? Based on your speed and attack variety, combo gets halved if 
hit. Taking down enemies counts twice as much for ongoing combo. Oh, they're just gonna build off of the combo. Uh, I th I think you know it, it's <clears throat> it's gonna be a tempting tree to go through here. Um, <clears throat> allows us to start the ordeal with a more powerful blast. <clears throat> more powerful pistol. I I think the pistol is powerful enough though. All right, let's go. We're Failing. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> I want to kill the judge. The judge body boulder. Is it possible on my first video for this game to do such a thing? Maybe, maybe not. Would we want the expectations for the next video to be that high? <laughs> maybe maybe it's something we want to avoid, you know? Save the uh <laughs> We hit him with everything we had. Look at the different colors on the bar. Yes. Look, I'm I'm not look. Okay, so first of all, I want to move my talking mouse thing in just a tiny bit. I haven't done this for anything. It has stayed in the same spot, even for Overwatch when it doesn't make sense. Uh, but I'm going to move it just a little bit up, just so it's right alongside there. That's good. All right. No. No, say it ain't so. We lost our flow. This is this is kind of like a, a weird shift from the <laughs> from from the um, relaxing and calming vibes of Lonely Mountains into uh, into our death metal. Um, it's not a phase mom kind of music. Yeah. <laughs> okay. You might not be able to tell at home how many buttons I'm pushing. Maybe we need a, a, a controller camera. But actually we don't. Because you can see it on the bottom right. Dude. That is beautiful. Okay, so the big pink mark is a heavy attack. Uh, I think I believe the blue ones are regular attacks. Actually, you can kind of see it from my um, my motions. Yeah, you can see how the pink one has like a uh, or the heavy attack has like a pink swing to it. You see, and then the blue one is like this, and then obviously the gun is orange. Because uh, the bullets are orange on the left side. Okay. Oh, hello. <laughs> Yo, precise shotgun. You got the, like a buckshot? Let's go. I don't know if we're going to have enough money to get that, but it's, you know, goals are good to have in life in general. <gasps> I believe that goals are what may what drives us and if you don't have goals you you, you look at life a little bit less colorfully <laughs> okay like when I was like uh, I don't know five years old or six years old first grade whatever age I was in first grade you know, all the way until uh, until I got married. Um, <laughs> one of my goals was to get a girlfriend and keep them, keep them happy, and uh, just like a, like a very romantic, uh, hopeless romantic kind of uh, teenager. I mean, it, it's a, it's a played up thing because you see it in a lot of movies. You see it a lot of a lot of teenagers in general. They're just like obsessed with this idea of romance. Um, you know, I blame Disney, I blame my parents for 
not shielding me from the fact that women are monsters? No, uh, no, <laughs> it's not true. My wife is a lovely person. Ugh. Okay, here we go. Oh. Ooh, does this heal us? I forget. Because I kind of need a heal. Weapons drop randomly upon finishing a room. Gives back all HP. Let's just do it. I'm I'm a coward. Not afraid to admit it right now. Nope, none of that, sir. I will say. I forget which power-ups I have. No 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 no. 1.5 combo. Yo, he couldn't even get out a shot, dude. <laughs> Max ammo, I'll take it. What I really like, also, let's just do a hyper jump. Yo, that's so simple. You hold down the share button, which is the select button. Um, and then when you let go, it does the jump. What? So intuitive. I like it. I love it. No, 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 no. Okay, we lost all of our goodwill. No, you get stunned, sir. We're kind of doing the, uh, the spam everything approach here. Um, I don't know how far that's going to take us, but it's kind of working. No, 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 no. No, no, we were so close. We got greedy. Oh, okay. Well, that's Scourge Bringer, guys. <laughs> uh, I don't know if it's hitting hitting you the right vibes that it's hitting me, but it's a it's a good one, man. It's it's a this is a solid game, and um, yeah, it's twelve bucks right now on Steam. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's it's a candidate to to be put on the uh, on the other consoles, obviously. But it's in early access. Um, obviously, you can see it from the top right, and also the press F1 to send feedback on the bottom. Um, but yeah, it's worth checking out, in my opinion. If you if you liked what you saw, um, we're gonna keep uploading videos. Thank you so much. Hit that like button. Hit that sub button. All the support helps. I'll catch you on the next one. See ya.